vision. Hello YouTube learners. Today I am going to talk on exhaust gas recirculation, which is commonly known as EGR. This is how EGR look likes. Um, major problem faced by today's world is environmental pollution. Of this, vehicular traffic is a major contributor. Exhaust gases from vehicle include CO, CO2, SC, and NOx, where SC is hydrocarbon, NOx, nitrogen nitrous oxide these are one of the chief constituents of smoke which have an adverse effect on ecological system they also contribute to the formation of acid rain nox also cause breathing illness in human beings formation of nox the factor that causes diesel engine to run more efficiently than gasoline engine also causes them to run at higher temperature that is n2 and o2 combined together at higher temperature to form NOx that is nitrous oxide fuel in any engine is burned with the extra air and some of the oxygen is used to burn the fuel that is the intake and uh, uh, intake which it takes from the atmosphere when the peak temperature are high enough for a long period of time the nitrogen and oxygen in the air combine to form nitrogen oxides uh, how can NOx be reduced? In order to reduce NOx, uh, engine should run at lower temperature than the normal temperature as N2 and O2 combine at higher temperature to form NOx. So uh, here reduced cylinder temperature can be achieved in three ways, enriching the air fuel mixture, lowering the compression ratio and retarding ignition timing, reducing the amount of oxygen in the cylinders. Exhaust gas recirculation how does it works exhaust gas recirculation is an efficient method to reduce nox emission from the engines it works by recirculating a quantity of exhaust gas back to the engine cylinders um, this is the engine this is intake manifold this is exhaust this is the uh, where from where it is recirculated related to the intake manifold this is the easier cooler uh, intermixing the recirculated gas within incoming air reduces the amount of available O2 to the combustion and lowers the peak temperature of the combustion. Recirculation is usually achieved by piping a route from the exhaust manifold to the intake manifold. A control valve within the circuit regulates the time the gas flow. Uh, EGR actually works by diluting nitrogen by supplying inert gases like CO2 uh, which actually works as an absorbent which reduces the combustion heat thereby reducing the chance of NOx being created. Uh, let's say, say uh, by systematic diagram how it, uh, how does it happen. Uh, from here intake, uh, uh, intake N2 and O2 is, is being sucked uh, that is uh, then it is employed into the inlet manifold. Um, then compression and com uh, combustion takes place here uh, the, uh, when exhaust happens N2O2, CO2, uh, NOx and some other gases are formed uh, which um, escapes from, uh, from the exhaust through this uh, here we have uh, here uh, we have EGR valve uh, that's open up and then the exhaust gas is being recirculated or we can say uh, it's being rerouted like this that is e uh, then it travels to the EGR cooler and this is EGR in and this is EGR out then from here it enters the uh, enters the valve then this valve uh, opens up uh, from here here the exhaust gets back into the inlet manifold this is how it happens uh, in the next cycle when it mixed with the uh, with the cool exhaust gas the combustion happens a little bit cooler this reduces the chance of creation of nox what does egr cooler does it is cools the exhaust gas uh, basic parts of the egr uh, there are three basic parts of the egr that is egr valve egr cooler and egr transfer file uh, uh, where these are located in the uh, on the engine now uh, here shows the EGR valve. This is the EGR valve. EGR transfer pipe. Uh, this in uh, in the blue color shows the EGR transfer pipe. Uh, EGR cooler. This is how EGR cooler looks like. EGR transfer pipe. Uh, the cool exhaust gas then flow through the EGR transfer pipe into the intake manifold. Um, EGR operating condition. There are three operating condition 
for each air flow high each air flow low each air flow no each air flow this is according to the load uh, each air theory of operation the purpose of each air system is to precisely regulate the flow under different operating condition by integrating the fuel and spark control with the each air metering system the engine performance and the fuel economy can be enhanced for the ecm that is electronic control machine is used to regulate the egr flow when egr is required the ecm opens the egr valve uh, advantages uh, using exhaust gas recirculation technique in engines the emission are very much controlled due to the lesser amount of nox being created into the entering the atmosphere exhaust gas recirculation is very simple method it has proven to be very useful and it is being modified for the uh, further to attain the better standards the method is very reliable in terms of fuel consumption agr is the most effective method for reducing the nitrous oxide emission from the engine exhaust uh, it do have disadvantages as well um, the overall efficiency of the engine is reduced when we use agr uh, that's all from my side thank you